once you decided to make a reggae album, at what point did you decide that you wanted to get a film crew and document, you know, and make a film out of this journey for yourself? Well, when I decided to make the record, uh, I ran it past my right hand man, Ted Chung, and um, Ted suggested that uh, <clears throat> we document it, that we follow this pro progression or this session more, more than anything. So, because we feel like everything that we do has a magic moment at some point. So why not, you know, try to capture that magic moment? And even if it's just a video or just the process of making the record, you know, we went in with that idea and, you know, this is what came out. Yeah. Were you comfortable with sitting down and really opening up yourself to the camera and talking about, you know, Tupac's death and your relationship with Suge Knight and, you know, all these other aspects of your life that you really opened up to the camera about? Well, in the beginning of the process, I wasn't. But as we got to rolling, I got comfortable with the director and um, understood where, where, where he was going. Um, we came back and shot a whole day with just me and him. And that's when you get the, the, the emotional moments because I was confident enough to believe in what he was asking. And it was those great questions that were giving those great answers. So you had to warm up a little bit to the filmmaker and to the camera itself. More to the that. filmmaker, okay. <clears throat> because to me, he was outrageous in the beginning. I want you to ride on a motorcycle with the rocks guys down the hill. I'm like, motherfucker, it's a, it's a steep down there. I'm, I'm going to fall. I want you to jump off a cliff. I want you to, like, but then I got it. Push, push me, push me, push me to the edge because Snoop don't hold back. And he brought the best out of me. That's what directors do. Yeah. Why at this time in your life did you, and in your career, did you feel this was the right time for you to sort of leave the rap game for a bit and make a reggae album? I don't know why. I really don't know. I mean, it just feels like the timing is right, you know, like, it's everybody making party records, right? But the world ain't having a party. The world is suffering through certain issues that we need to address. And to me, I feel like stopping the party and addressing these issues and then continue in the party. Yeah, so getting to talk a little bit about the social issues that are going on and then also in a party way, you know? Exactly, to where I don't take you and stop you from dancing, I just slow you down and now you're listening to what I'm saying as opposed to just saying what I'm saying. I don't want you to repeat what I'm saying, I want you to hear what I'm saying. Nice. Uh, can you talk a little bit about um, the choice to change your name from Snoop Dogg to Snoop Lion and then does that mean I can't call you Snoop, Snoop D O W G now? I gotta call you Snoop L I O N? No. <laughs> you can call me whatever you want to, dog. You all gravy with me. But um, uh, the lion thing was uh, when I was in Jamaica, and once I decided to do that reggae album, all of the roster guys started to call me Lion. They're like, "What's up, Lion? Lion? Lion?" So instead of me saying Snoop Dogg, I'm like, I'm just gonna be Snoop Lion. And then Bunny Whaler called me Snoop Lion. So you see. All during the movie, you know, all while we was in Jamaica, everybody was calling me Lion. So it was like it made sense to put it all together and rock and roll with it. Excellent. Uh, last thing I want to ask you, I saw you on the Bill Maher show recently. And, you know, Bill Maher is a big advocate for marijuana. Um, and he's even said to you that he thinks you smoke too much pot. <laughs> what do you say to critics like that and to Bill Maher who says that? Bill said that? Yeah, Bill said that he thinks you smoke too much. What, what, do you, what do you say to him? Will you ever take a break or is that just part of your lifestyle, part of who you are? Bill. For you and everyone else. <laughs> Fuck it. There you go. Perfect answer. Awesome, Snoop. Thank you so much, man. So nice meeting you, brother. I appreciate it. <laughs>